John, some of my scientist friends would say philosophers have a great value in the world, and that is when they keep other philosophers away from bothering scientists. What do you say? I think one thing that they should remember is that uh, ph philosophers historically have had a huge role in the development of science. In fact, uh, it's only a recent thing that people clearly self-identified as philosophers rather than scientists or scientists rather than philosophers. I mean, Aristotle, Descartes, Leibniz, Newton, and many others recognizably did stuff that was both science and philosophy, and there was no clear divide between them. So it, 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 I, th I think it's uh, a very strange thought to be having that philosophy is useless because there's no sharp divide historically between philosophy and science anyway. And the argument back is that you're certainly right historically, but now we've grown up just like children become adults. And now science is real, and, and that's the part of this past tradition that is maintained. And the part that was uh, useless should be, uh, should be ejected. Yes, but the, I mean, it's clear that Philosophy, philosophy as a discipline is the end of inquiry that isn't to do with, say, hands-on um, experimentation. But there's a lot of science that is quite distant from hands-on uh, experimentation, too. And what you find is that there's fairly seamless interaction between philosophers and scientists at that end of things. So if you look at foundations of physics... There's quite healthy collaborations going on between uh, philosophers and cosmologists. And, and, and it seems in many cases that, I mean, in my experience, a whole range of the cosmologists and uh, people working in foundations of physics have been all too happy to uh, uh, interact with philosophers. And then philosophers, for their part, have been had to get up to speed with uh, s some of the... Uh, some of the uh, important so, so, aspects so, of the of the of the science there, but they have particular skills in clarifying things, connecting disparate areas, mm. uh, looking at the logic behind certain argumentation, uh, bringing a bit of discipline to what can be uh, uh, sometimes wild speculation, trying to. Uh, uh, do a little policing in terms of standards for theory choice and mm. so on. And, and there's just no basis at all for, um, uh, for sort of the, the kind of dismissive <laughs> attitudes that you're describing. I mean, if we all have our temperamental uh, failings, <laughs> and if some scientists have some distinctive temperamental failing like that, then, well, I, I feel bad for them. What are some of the contributions that philosophy can make to modern science, be it modern physics or modern uh, brain science? What are the categories or, or the, uh, uh, the kinds of questions that philosophers can help science progress? I mean, there are lots of issues of clarification in, I mean, I've been picking on the example of foundations of physics, which isn't my primary thing, but I, I'm, I'm just picking on that by, by way of illustration. I mean, they're very delicate, the uh, fan questions in the foundations of physics, like, for example, issues about uh, the uh, interpretation of quantum mechanics. You know, there's been these proliferation of approaches among physics that physicists fighting with each other about how to interpret the foundations mm. of quantum mechanics, whether a Bohmians, Copenhagen, and so on, the, the Copenhagen interpretation, and so on. And it's uh, all the evidence is that philosophers have been actually quite adept at clarifying what's at stake, looking at in a careful way at what the evidence is and what sorts of uh, uh, standards for theory choice are in play and, and available and, 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 and so on. So there's a good example of something that's, you know, one of the deepest, you know, a, a range of very deep questions about the ultimate structure of the physical mm. universe mm. where there's no reason to think that philosophers aren't currently playing a, a, a very important role and will, will continue to do so. Similarly with, you know, these new many worlds uh, theories of mm. cosmology. Uh, they raise all sorts of questions about uh, standards of evidence about, and, and so on, and all sorts of structural questions that philosophers seem well-placed to uh, 
fruitfully uh, interact with. And that's not to say that philosophers can just take over, but it seems that philosophers can play a healthy role there. I have just picked one sort of en end of things. I mean, there's another, you know, the, there are all sorts of uh, ways that philosophers are playing a role. I mean, you know, we have philosophers playing a healthy role with the foundations of physics, very different kind of philosophers uh, playing a role on the hospital ethics committees and a very different kind of philosopher still uh, playing important role in the foundations of law and, you know, clarifying questions such as, you know, right, the concept of rights and questions related to the nature mm. and structure of, of, of rights. That, that seems to be another sort of area where philosophers are especially well equipped to uh, um, uh, play a uh, a healthy clarificatory role and intervene uh, in a really useful way in, in contemporary discussions. And I could give you lots more examples of where metaphysicians in particular uh, could, could, could yeah, play a role. Many scientists would, would agree with you, and certainly in, in ethics and in uh, discussions of forensic or law, uh, but they would say in science per se, the value today as opposed to the past is very much less. I mean, obviously, th there are certain areas of science where philosophers, of normal science, of evidence and data gathering, where philosophers, where the, 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 the structure of the theories is pretty clear, the, the, uh, the standards for success are pretty clear, where philosophers aren't going to play uh, a good role. I mean... Philosophers aren't going to help people cook nice dinners either, you know? So uh, it's not like philosophy helps everywhere. I don't want to say that. But uh, philosophers do have a special ability to help in areas where there's need for clarification, both of the nature of the theory and the evidential standards that are being brought to bear.